all this has happened before. And it will all happen again. But this time it happened in London. It happened on a quiet street in Bloomsbury. That corner house over there is the home of the Darling family. And Peter Pan chose this particular house because there were people here who believed in him. There was Mrs. Darling. George, dear, do hurry. We mustn't be late for the party, you know. Mrs. Darling believed that Peter Pan was the spirit of youth. But Mr. Darling... Mary, unless I find my cufflinks, we don't go to the party. And if we don't go to the party, I can never show my face in the office again. And if we can never show... I... Well, Mr. Darling was a practical man. The boys, however, John and Michael, believed Peter Pan was a real person and made him the hero of all their nursery games. Blast you, Peter Pan! <laughs> you to cut off me hand? Oh, no, John. It was the left hand. Oh, yes. Thank you, Wendy. Wendy, the eldest, not only believed, she was the supreme authority on Peter Pan and all his marvelous adventures. Oh, Nana, must we always take that nasty tonic? Nana, the nursemaid, being a dog, kept her opinions to herself and viewed the whole affair with a certain tolerance. Nice, please. 